Uncontrolled disposal of plastics in Kenya often increases pollution and waste in the environment. Most of this plastic ends up in landfills. However, this month, National Airline Kenya Airways launched a project to turn plastics to fuel. The plastics are shredded and loaded into this hopper. Heat breaks the plastics down into oil, which is refined into diesel fuel for ground vehicles. The company's chief operating officer, George Kamal, says at least 1,000 liters of fuel is produced daily. We get people to work here in the plant and we get people to work in the community to collect that plastic from the community and pays money as well for the community. So we take that waste plastic from the community around and we use that. So 98% comes from the community around us. 2% comes from the airline. Scientists say the diesel produced from plastic waste is less efficient than regular fuel, produces higher exhaust emissions and has lower flash point, meaning it catches on fire more easily. At the same time, oil supplies and prices are chronically uncertain and Kenya barely produces any crude oil. So experts say creating fuel alternatives is crucial. You begin to change people to renewable energy and then also cut the dependency on, on, uh, on fuel, on, on the traditional hydrocarbon fuels. Um, and the earlier you do it, the better it will be for the country. Also, plastic pollution remains a significant problem in Kenya, despite recent national commitments to increase recycling. An estimated 92% of Kenya's plastic is mismanaged and only 7% is recycled, according to a recent report. We do use this, the plastics uh, that is in terms of bottles and uh, other uh, like trays and such like things. So when they break, uh, we would be forced to dispose them. But now with the plant, we are able to bring them back here and uh, recycle the same to produce diesel. The diesel production plant was designed by Kenyan engineers and is the first of its kind in the country. Kenya Airways officials say producing fuel locally is saving costs and reducing plastic waste. Victoria Amunga, VOA News, Nairobi.